Hello everyone in Daily Wonders. A tour of the Nikweave Mugfuz Museum for Embryos How was childbirth 100 years ago? Deformed embryos and human organs for children in glass boxes, medical tools, and scientific books in a museum approaching 100 years old. Dr. Nikweave Mugfuz, Doctor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, at Alcazar Al Aini Hospital, to be the largest in the Middle East and Africa. Nguib Mathus graduated from the Kaiser Al Aini Medical School in the year 1902, and ended his assignment in a hospital in 1904 and was appointed as an anesthesiologist in Kaiser Al Aini, but Nguib Mathus opened a clinic for obstetrics and gynecology. The doctor with the most famous and difficult birth in 1911, at which time the mother of the fetus decided to name her son after the doctor Nguib. In appreciation of his efforts in the birth of her son, he later became the international writer Nikweeb Mathuz, who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1988. The museum was established in 1930, similar to the Amsterdam Museum, but specializing more in gynecology and obstetrics, which contains nearly 1,300 samples collected from its operations since 1905 whether from incomplete embryos that died prematurely or after their birth, in addition to samples of uterine tumors, which he removed them, to assist students and doctors in their studies. In kind safe, on samples of sick fetuses, and body parts, as well as medical tools, in which Mathus performed the first birth, childbirth, in the museum, up to 95 years old. Dr. Muhammad Al Mumtaz, Chairman of the Board of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Kaiser Al Aini Medicine, reopened the museum after it was neglected, and the family of Dr. Nikweeb Mufus contributed to the development process. In March 2018, Kaiser Al Aini College of Medicine was inaugurated, and Dr. Ahmed Al Manawi, head of the Endoscopic Surgery Unit at the Department of Obstetrics and Pathology, Secretary of the Museum Committee, Dr. Nikweeb Mathuz, suggested adding a barcode technology to every discovery in the museum, which through the QR code technology can allow viewing descriptive television operations and rumors for each case, through direct contact with the museum's website on smartphones. It recognizes the QR code. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. Thanks for watching.